If somebody asked me which watch brand has the best price value ratio, the answer would be very simple. Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and the answer of course is Longines and no, this is not a sponsored video. I have five reasons why I think that Longines is one of the best watch brands on the planet. Reason number one, marvelous, beautiful designs throughout their entire history. And speaking of history, we come to reason two. This is the reputation. Longines has a proper good reputation. You will not find so many people who absolutely don't like this brand. Reason number three then, you have a lot of options. Sometimes they release a watch with different dial colors, many straps around them and so you really have something to choose from. And reason number four is five years warranty. It's an absolute no-brainer. You don't have any sort of risk buying a Longines because you have this, this five years warranty. And my last reason is the great price region. You can pick up a Longines new for let's say 1400 euros sometimes or even under that mark. And if you say I want to spend a little bit more then you find your luxurious or more luxurious model for 2200 let's say which is a great region because you really have the feeling that you have something luxurious on your wrist but you're not super careful with it. You don't have to, to feel anxiety wearing that watch. Okay, those were my five reasons and I'd like to show you five Longines watches which I think are gorgeous. They're simply gorgeous. They're marvelous. They're, they're so beautiful pieces really. And I will not mention every spec here in this video. This would create a runtime of one hour. But you find here the precise um, reference numbers in the video description for every piece mentioned here in this video. And now let's begin. And by the way, if you're new here, Every Friday I make these longer videos, very often with in-depth reviews of actual watches in the studio. And every Monday you find my Watch of the Week series, very brief, quick advertisers under four minutes. And if you don't want to miss something, then please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so that you get your notifications. And now let's carry on with Longines. The first watch here is the most robust and most contemporary in my list. The Longines Spirit, an all-rounder with an almost flawless appearance. Nearly every detail is chosen close to perfection. We have a black dial for a maximum of legibility, a black date wheel for a maximum of balance, dominant hands and numerals, but they don't overpower the watch and are in their dimensions a real team. Note the length of the hands for example. We have the Longines Spirit in the beautiful logo and in the red tip of the second hand. Very well chosen is also the brushing on the case. When you want to gain legibility with a black dial, you don't pair it with a glossy finish, right? Thule is also the crown, which is a screw down one and helps to provide a water resistance up to 100 meters. Nothing to worry here. You can flip it over and then you just smile in view of that case back, another Longines speciality. Inside we find high tech, at least inside the parameters of a mechanical movement. The L8884 is an ETA chronometer with silicon balance spring and a power reserve of 72 hours. This watch comes at a price of around 2000 euros or a smidgen more in US dollars. More on the dressier side is the Longines Silver Arrow, smaller, brighter, with a clear link to 50s design. A time fascinated by early jet planes, fast cars and of course the beginning of the space age. My dear friends, here you see something close to perfection. Note for example how smoothly the lugs are integrated in the case and how well they go with that high polished bezel. Here legibility is not the number one goal but an overall appearance of beauty and pureness. The dial has the color between white and eggshell that looks different during every hour of the day. And I also love this sunken minute scale which gives the watch another dimension and it is of course a reference to similar dials made by Omega and Rolex, a real 50s feature. Note also the block indices and how carefully they are arranged. This together with the classic hand form of the 50s, a reduced second hand and the applied Longines logo. By the way, Silver Arrow was in the 50s rather a term for racing cars, but Longines opted here for a jet plane. The watch is with 10 mm slender and not really robust, only 30 meters of water resistance, but in this case I don't see this as a minus, taken in consideration the genre of the watch. 
Inside you find the caliber 8885, which is again a modern automatic EDA with a power reserve of staggering 72 hours. Price for this model is 1900 euros or a smidgen over 2000 in US dollars. By the way, I recorded a great song for you. It's a mixture of swing beats and rumba, which is a Latin American dance, and you find it at the end of this video. The Longines Conquest is an icon in the vintage watch world, and for some reason. Unfortunately, nowadays it is difficult to find them and to maintain the last pieces. But luckily you find this iconic watch design fresh out of the box in form of this wonderful reissue. For only 1080 euros or around 1100 US dollars, you can purchase this dresser in two dial colors, silver or black. I had them both here and I can tell you they are both marvelous. Again we have here a 50s design without numerals but with very advanced block indices in gold. The black dial version creates here something badass in a good way, deep and rich. The silver dial version looks more fluid, there you really can see how nicely reflections of silver and gold mix. Very special is of course the position of the date. Today this is very exotic but back then it was often seen not only on Longines but also on many Omega watches. Special is also that the watch comes with a hazelite crystal that enhances the clear look. And of course the size, because this reference measures only 35 mm in diameter, exactly the size of its predecessor. Inside we find a modified version of the good old ETA 2824 with a power reserve of 38 hours. This movement is one reason for the rather low price of the watch. It's not special, it's not high tech, but it does the job literally since decades without problems. And a shout out to the guys with bigger wrists. The Conquest is also available with 40 mm case diameter. I had one here, 40 mm, with a black dial and I can tell you this is a pretty dominant piece. Our next watch is the cousin of the Conquest. The flagship Heritage find its roots also in the 50s and every time I see an image like this I think what an idiot I am because I sold mine. Here you see the quintessence of Longines. Again, no numerals but an exquisite composition of indices. So many references and inspirations here. Does it come straight from the dashboard of a 50s car? Does it come from an airport clock in one of the world's capitals or is it just a wristwatch with the maximum reach when it comes to form and proportion? 38.5 mm in diameter but be warned it wears big because of the large dial diameter. And note that the dial is rather busy. Longines, then the applied logo, the automatic, flagship, seconds and then the date. All in one line, all in one direction. But does it look busy or even rushed? No, it looks perfectly calm and relaxed. This really is the Japanese garden of watches. And when you need then something more spectacular, well, flip it over and see the most glorious case bag Longines ever produced, made of gold and blue enamel. Movement is the Longines Caliber 615, which is an automatic ETA with 42 hours power reserve. The price for this watch is 1480 euros or around 1500 US dollars. Used you find them sometimes for half of that. And by the way, there is one reference used with a plexi, but this modern reference here comes with a sapphire crystal. When the show Mad Men was popular, many people tried to hunt down the Tudor tuxedo of the great character Roger Sterling, played by John Slattery. No chance. Very few pieces out there, often in poor condition. I'm pretty sure that Longines was aware of that when they've introduced their tuxedo. Sterling had his peak in the 40s and this watch is also highly inspired by 40s design. We have signs of a field watch with massive loom, very large hands and the subtitle on position 6. Watches back then often came with small cases chrome plated, but here you have a steel case with drilled lug holes and another well made case back. Case diameter is 38.5. And you may wonder now, are deco and field watch in one piece? Yes, you find this mix in the 40s and 50s and it was not seldom. But back to the dial with its clever mix of colors. Because a tuxedo can look pretty cheap, same thing with shoes. When they are just black and white they look like a costume. But here you have black and this off-white which balances the contrast way better than pure brightness. The Heritage Tuxedo is equipped with a sapphire crystal as a concession to modern times and with the caliber 
L8935, which is again an automatic EDA with 64 hours power reserve. The price here is 1900 euros or a bit over 2000 US dollars. Okay, but now I'm very curious about your pick here. You, do you like my five, my five Longines watches or not? Or do you have another model in mind? And please don't hesitate, put it here in the comments. And now allow me a little thank you. In one of my last videos, I asked for reviews for my online shop. Many people bought their straps and wallets and other leather accessories, and they left um, very, very, yeah, very impressive reviews. You can find their images of the products. Thank you very much, guys. This is extremely helpful. And as a little reward for every viewer, every subscriber here, I'd like to make a little discount code. I'd try to create with Shopify this discount code. I think it's very simple. And I'd like to give this weekend everybody one time 20% off. So if Christmas was very expensive for you, you are a bit on the budget, but you need a strap or another item made of fine leather, then you can use the discount code here in the description and get your 20% discount. And if you, yeah, if you want to have other updates and if you want to see other crazy stuff on Instagram, for example, then follow me there, please. It's casepick underscore Tim. And now let me thank you very much for your attention. And now enjoy that song.